if you would just be honest and refer to how God wants us to live on earth, and then you will come to 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 what is real. They will be trapped out there for four years by trial. They kind of make things and fix their teeth. And they're using that. And they leave me living like this. I'm not broken holes. I have a bank account and feel great to go get it. And I was threatened so badly. I don't know who to turn to. I, I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm a diplomat. I'm supposed to be the VIP. And I have to just tell me to kill the right place because I'll pretend to be me. And I don't know what to do. I don't know who to turn to. I can't even try to live it and do it. The people, the people trying to end the world, they literally are. They're determined and they do things to take drops and they're out of shape and everything. They take everything from me. They make computers and the smoke. I don't get high. You gotta call me these, I'm doing things to clear my brain and put motors and all kinds of things all over me. Some guy calls me that girl on the phone. I don't know what he's talking about. It's apparently they put a cell phone thing in my face. My fingernails and my heavy just They took off all my fingernails and now they're coming off again with glass and drops in my body coming out of my skin. And nobody can sit there and put it in. I don't know what happened. I told Krista, I was I did the, the, the negotiation, the translating. And now I can hardly talk and, and I have amnesia. And you know, people go, what we did your language that? It was robotic and weak. And the one guy put some TV in my eye. He said, I've tried, I was so, he was so excited. I've tried to do this, everybody, I've tried to do this on, I know. I ended up getting them to die to kill the freak from Chicago. Oh my God. And I had this thing in my eye. And I, I, I just wanted to be in my mind. Is this all your art here? Yeah, I and mean, the art. You did a lot. Well, I mean, a friend of mine got an appraised board painting with $1,000. Wow, awesome. very That's colorful. You painted all these? Yeah. You got quite a bit. I was born here in Venice and, and I'm trying to get my career proper, you know, get back on my feet. I can't live another day. And my brother was down there. For, he was a rooster. He was in French Cambodia. Did in you? French Vietnam. And it's just it's something that's real that's happening. It's something that's been set up to do. And nobody. Nobody knows about it, like I said, I think that's one of the Hollywood bases in the area. Like in this country where they used to be, the police would touch it, the mafia would go rescue the people. We don't have them that anymore, there's a sense of integrity and decency and intolerance for, for Nazi bodily function obsession and freak show. Did you say you were I'm born really in Venice? I'm into your ears. I'm, I'm, I'm just... And I'm grateful that you're talking to me. That is the first person. That is the freedom of peace. And trying to, 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 to make it like a free thing, but it would have upset me. And the thing is that <coughs> nobody wants to do it. The people who slaughter the whole thing are dead or are not, they're not doing it anymore. <coughs> this takeover of the United States. Did you say you were born in Venice? I was born here, yeah. And raised here? Born and raised in Venice. You used to be able to live along the boardwalk as an artist. Did and you go to... I they're not doing that anymore. But this is my reservation. I should be able to have a lean-to on the, on the beach if I need to have lodging. And, and I just, I'm being just all over the place. And, and it's ugly. And, and some of the people, the agents are saying they're, they're using me, that they use me as a guinea pig or something. It's all nonsense. It's all people wanting to experiment. I'm an unusual, you know, an unusual human being. I'm, I'm Anastasi Shaman. I have white eyes, but they told me that some guy would just shoot me because I'm a white eyes. So I'm in the hospital in Miami after months and months of trying to have healing. And, uh, 
So I'm sitting there waiting and some guy comes in and he says, I hate your wife, I'm sick of God of my kids and shoot them. And it's just not funny, and they're not protecting me, and they're, not, and they're just completely... Some of the agents just watch my dogs. And they, they take care of my dogs and uh, are waiting for, for some of the people to come back from their outer space. Some had to be out there in China, they got staff and there were robots. And Jolie, the guy, the president was like a zombie that put you in the square. But it prevents our military from getting killed with somebody. It's like a great idea, but now you can have them come back, please. That we're getting sacked by people who are just running through the motions because they're a part of the real end. And they're not. They're just gonna, they, they're just gonna say, oh, well, you, you tried to push communist uh, things, so now we just kill you. And that's their plan. Like, get rid of lots of the population and just watch and see who's a, who's a real communist or who's a real American. And it's, it's a twisted thing to do because for the most part, the masses are gonna follow the, the sway to whoever they think is gonna win and uh, you know, protect themselves, self preservation yeah. So it's a dumb, dumb plan to be watching and see like judges and people like that trying to push communist acting, uh, practice. And um, How many years I mean, have you been selling here on, on the boardwalk? How many You're, years have I been here? Selling your art. I mean, six years outdoors. I was two years in Vegas, but, and I sell paintings. That's how I make my living. People come by and buy a painting, and many times they're, they're worth more like one kid paid 20 bucks for me and sold it at an auction and signed up for 500. So, I don't know. <laughs> but that's the art world. Like, it's like your paintings are what's real. Mm. Your paintings are what live. Your paintings are the star. You know what I mean? That's the focus. So, if they're getting money and they're, you know, then that's good. <laughs> Did you go to Venice High? I just always considered me a nut, right? <laughs> uh -huh. I, uh, you know, I lived here and I, I married young and I, I was a singer and now. I was, and my father always said, you know, during the time when uh, at the age of 1990, you, you prepare to do the, the solar system, we up the spectrum, and twice before this whole planet gets to this point, it's the natural progression of the Earth. And um, it's, it's the up, the up the spectrum and the new technologies, the cellular and the, and the HDTV. And what they've done is they stole the rocks from me, Anasazi Shaman, uh, Saren Axe, and I was in Miami, and, and the FBI and the people promised up that, Madam Diplomat, don't leave the country, we'll protect you here. So, uh, I don't know what happened to them, but I got taken up by them. And, uh, I was, like, they passed me around, whatever, they put implants in me, and people doing all kinds of things against my will, but the worst thing of all is what my, the other members of my tribe are trapped right here. They're right here under our reservation, under the ground under our reservation. So the government people last night haven't talked to them. They're like, fight your own battles. We wash our hands, is what they said. And they said those things to me. I was, I didn't know what was going on. But, and now I still kind of don't. I'm a little bit clueless. And I want, I'm, I'm thinking I have to somehow save some money and get people, hire people to go down there and get them. Okay, uh, just call the, the, the hotline for, you're being so screwed over, you just need someone who will help. <laughs> and I don't know the number. No, I don't know what to do. Really. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm waiting for them to come back from out of the people out there. Do you still sing? No, well, I'm pretty far alto right now because smoke is necessary for the work that we do. What we do, I don't have no magic, I don't have no power. I'm a human being. Great Spirit has always used my tribe and my people to assist with like the work of the, the maintaining the, the solar system and the earth. It's really rocks and how they line up and that the lights, much like the computer, so the lights that spin here in the north axis and the south axis match and then it's going well instead of like this and then you can have crumbles or something here. And what kind of singing did you do? Were you in a band? Oh, I was, um, I, I actually was treating, uh, she was like a one hit wonder, she did must have been love, but it's over now. <laughs> it's all that I wanted, but I lost it somehow. Yeah, that's uh, that was when I got my Grammy. <laughs> that was my token Grammy. Did you write that song? But I was background in a lot of music, and my husband was a producer, so I was involved with the production aspect, and I was always background. Yeah, yeah. So I had a wonderful career, you know, the semi-charmed life. 
where, and then I do my spirit work, and people don't want to believe in that anymore. They want to say, I'm a, I, people walk by here and go, you're a devil, you're a demon. It's just, it's just ridiculous, you know, it's God's work. That, that just shows that they are some kind of people who believe in some kind of, some kind of but they might be God, you know, they must be God, because they're going to be saying what is about reality. And they have no place to do so. They have no place to say that something is correct and something is incorrect. You know, they didn't create. Like, they act like they're the creator. You know, some of them really go, go places. And I'm not sure if they're not just completely out of their minds and believe that stuff about themselves. So the human race has got to get to it where they realize that God is in charge. God is in control. And every tiny little effort to make it just look ridiculous trying to push forward and just declare you can do this and you can't do that. And, According to our constitution, you can't say what you can ingest. So all this busyness with what people are taking for, for getting high and all of that, it's really nobody's business, it's least of all the government or the police. So they, they twist it and then they use those mechanisms to try to enforce like control mentality. And it's all passe though, because everybody has a chance to make it and be equally as rich as anybody else. And that's really not what equality means. Equality means is that we see ourselves as equal amongst one another and under God, and that's what's real. And when people get a full sense of that, a full sense of how, how he, God is in charge, he's not coming back, he never left. You know, Jesus is hanging on the cross, and I think the honest pastor shaman at the time was made aware of him and moved him to California, and he got here to Cali and saw white-eyed, white-haired Indians dancing, singing, and thought he was in heaven. And I had to convince him it wasn't heaven. <laughs> it was just the other side of the world. And that's it, you know, I mean, people he uses and chooses. And, and it's, it's him in charge, not some guy, some old man. Some, you know what I mean? And people have been looking for a genius baby to be born. That doesn't happen. All the information that we get, we get directly from him. He uses the Anastasia to present it. And that's where it's at. It's, it's, and then you can say electricity is bad or I don't like it. Who are you to say that? It's part of his creation. And it's like, okay, we're gonna use this for now until this is an improved uh, uh, me uh, method. Like uh, now we're using to cellular and, and, and solar and the electrical hazards like fire and stuff we used to struggle for will be reduced. And it's getting better and better <laughs> all the time, you know? It's so you're gonna world. you're gonna set up this art now? On, yeah, on, on I'm gonna set up, and I have I they moved me to show the 5150 be off of my reservation. It's kidnapping. I have a lawyer that he wants to talk to me and, and see about, and I I just I, I'm in a rock and a hard place. I don't know what to do as a diplomat. I I'm, I'm supposed to not go. I don't vote. I stay completely neutral, and I don't um, get involved on sides of the people's choosing who's to be in charge and stuff like that. As a diplomat, I'm not government, but I'm, I'm part of what creates the fourth leg for uh, the, uh, you know, the, the balance of governing, uh, the, the managing, the activities and, the, and the, the, who is in charge of the country. So like if one of the presidents or something goes bad, instead of trying to go to the court or any of that, I just, I, I, you know, I have a handle, I have a license to take him out because he's going to bring us down, you know, and you can't believe it's a girl and all this whole thing, but, so I, I'm having this semi-charred life as a kid, it's, it's, uh, it's a tough thing to handle, you know, uh, and I got to stay on it, and I am, I think I'm doing pretty good, but the people around me are all falling apart, and I'm, just, I'm, I'm focused, I do my work for the spirit, and I'm quiet as marijuana, so I to the burdens that I never smoked because I was a singer, and, uh, but they took everything. They took the burners, they smoked the weed. You're not supposed to smoke that weed for the solar system. It's very, very close. And, and now I have the smoke to pray it out. And I use a bottle and pray that to the solar system. It's just how we've always worked in spirit. And I can't tell you exactly how I know it's real, but it was there before I was born. So and I know that they put glass and there's chips coming out of my, my toenails have little dots. And it's the, the rocks, it's, they took the rocks that were supposed to go into the sun and stuff and broke them. And so it's the worst nightmare, really, for, for, for the shaman, for us, for us. So I was trying to try with the many people that, that work with the great spirit to second sight, doing things with their minds. And they're like thinking they're going to get power and stuff. And they're going to catch all of their mythologies 
to us as if we're not that person, you know, or if that was ever real for people to be able to do those things. I can't do those things. I can't kill 400 million people. I can't stuff them, quote unquote, stuff them in volcanoes. And they're talking in my head, trying to tell me what to do, and I absolutely don't listen to anything. And I'm so focused on the spirit that that isn't even anything to worry about. And I'm going to start doing something. And he's in charge. Anything I do is, is propelled and, and guided by him anyway. You know, so I almost can't fail. Where's the failure? They knock me out in my brain. They make me douse me out like this. They, uh, well, you're trying to kill me. Somebody's like, it's easy, it's impossible. And all the borders, oh my gosh. Uh, the Americans are so stupid, they don't even kill us. I hate hearing that. I'm like, listen, we were chewing me. Whoever you are, you're going against our world. But we don't know. It's so clever and so well planned that we're embedded. And what did Kaiser even warn the Americans? So you have to be careful. You have to. You have to uh, be warned. Uh, there's a, a vendetta set against your country, and they are gonna be so awful they're gonna be in your society, and they're gonna be trying to uh, uh, specifically attack veterans' families because during World War One, we actually helped them bombed like, cities that didn't even know there was a war going on in small villages. So no, that was wrong, and, uh, and now they're, they're here to avenge that. So we have our problems as a country to do it, but the biggest problem is communication and honesty from the governments to the people. You know, they're not honest with the people. The people know that the government is not being lied to, and everybody becomes distrustful and it's divide and conquer. Well, I want to see your art when you lay it all out. And, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll be doing that right now. Um, and then you get all confused because they keep changing all these cleaning times and they play this clever little trick on how to get people. And they say, well, we're cleaning and you're stuck behind our tape. And this is not America. You cannot do that. It's just ridiculous. Luckily, also, they didn't throw it all out. Very childish. And they slow. You're literally, like they're all Rockefeller. <laughs> Did you ever get your other art back when they I kidnapped never, you? I got... It said three out of three bags, and I got two. Oh, good. So, no, so one bag, who knows what happened to that? It's gone. And, and, and now, valuable, valuable stuff. I've, I've, I've been excavating the time capsule that just here. It's the Disney Axe time capsule. And this place used to be wonderful. You have it ordered animators. You have a puppet show and a band. And it was, it was elegant and graceful. And there was a lot of respect and decency and, and all this very much a, 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 a sense of quality, a sense of the spiritual world being uh, what guides us and what we are, what we are underneath all of us, the same, you know, instead of this need to compete, need to be at the, all based on insecurities of someone taking advantage of someone else, and I'm, I'm just, I have the vision that this world will balance and, and we can accept one another and live with it and focus on tilling our own soil instead of making such a big concern about what other people are doing. It's none of your business. It really isn't. And if you just mind your own business, other people will also. I think the homeless thing would, would also kind of blend away, fade away, and, and find somebody to donate some land. And that's where they can go. And they can comfortable be in a neighborhood that's their own. Have a beautiful day. Thank you, too. And that's Venice, you know, people coming by, someone in a red wagon with uh, a pot, a big pot of spaghetti or stew or soup. And you eat here and, and, and it's even, you know, it's, uh, it's a place where you drop all of those things about judging and, and, high, and, and mythological beliefs that someone's lesser than someone else. It's just nonsense. What time can you set up here? Uh, 9 o'clock. You can start to set up on the board right I think it's 9. 9.45. Yeah, so... So you can start setting up? And then, yeah. And then, then they make it a mystery of where you can put your thing. They used to be paintings. Everyone paintings rules. If you were painting, you would not be, you'd get so much respect. <laughs> you know? So now you have to be yeah, in this box? Yeah, walk right over your display. You mm. know, and they're walking, and then all of a sudden, it's like, yeah, a painter's paint here. I mean, that's what this is. So um, you have your little space here, what is it, 10 by 10 or? Yeah, they even did a new uh, markings. They did, uh, they repainted uh -huh. the markings that show the stalls. And they I showed see. it all the way down to the end. Now, at the end is where the, the reservation kind of goes along with like the 10 acres or something. And uh, it, it's like, they're, they're really, uh, they don't have to like move or change or take all of, of Venice, the city that's on top of my reservation away. but. Can at least still respect me 
and and I am a diplomat, and the, uh, uh, the presidents and people for Nixon are at home. We're at home because the, the country is is being uh, targeted and embedded. And certain things are a little bit of a flux right now. I'm supposed to be going. I don't. So it's like completely there's somebody else who created some kind of stalking thing against me, and that all stems from nihilism. And I think really what's going on right now. All, all the realism. It's all people who want to it's totally, they, they want to end the world. They're just psyched about it and they've been planning it for the last 300 years in particular, very specific plan. And people in DC and stuff, a lot of other people knew about that and they, they didn't tell me and they didn't uh, think that I would be able to overcome them and, and beat them. And I did. My brother and me stopped the nuke in August 1984. That thing was lit up in the core. And what we do is we use second sight, and so we, we I, I actually put it, I ate it, and moved it. It was just a little red dot ready to, oh, it would have extinguished the things and rocks. It would have put the, the it would have been awful for Great Spirit because it would have put the planet back like 50 million years. The last two times we tried to get it, at this point we've blown up. And um, so it's like Groundhog Day. We, he would go through the whole other thing, and that's great spirit watching. Okay, here we go. We're coming up on the next 10,000 years of theories of charm. We're going to make it through, and we actually did. So we're now ready for the millennium. It almost moved to the core, but it'll never do that again. And that's because they stole the rocks and started using the cellular and the TV before the rocks were in the solar system. And so we're still struggling to get them back. I mean, the size of Susie Q, I moved the dust. The dust here. So I'm putting the particles in, and, and that is something I do with my mind. I guess I'm doing it with my mind. I mean, I, I picture what needs to be done, and, and it's what it is. I'm not sure why it has to go through us. It's just what it's always been. It's been like, hey, remind well, me your name not, again. There's nothing left of us. I mean, after all of this long, you know, I'm, I'm, my, my husband was, my first husband was the first, was the last 100% honest I was in full blood man. And now I have Chinese and Welsh ancestor and my kids, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, but it's part of what we moved through, you know. Can you remind me your name again? Oh, my name is Saren Pat. Saren? Nile Rogers. He's a lieutenant major in the army. And that's what the police officer said. Oh, good, well, yeah. Probably didn't handle it. He gets home. Thanks a lot. You know, but they're mean people. They're ruined for life with the computer and stuff like that. It's ugly, callousness. And, and, and they were not, they're not, they weren't born natural. They were born and trained. And that's what you know. I'm going to come back in a little bit when you're all set up so I can see your yeah, heart. Okay, okay, is that all right? Okay, Sarah, it. nice talking to you. Uh, okay. I appreciate you. First of all, it did. You were finding ways to, to go to work. So that was for me. Um, I, I appreciate this. Everyone's always appreciated Venice Beach or any other types of places where you do open vending. Like Key West resort places have that because it allows you to, without a, uh, a tax base or getting a business loan or anything, you can uh, present your work, present something you created. It's original, so right. I just pay anybody to. to Do you make paint them out here? Uh, Do you what? paint out here? Yeah, yeah, and it's different. You know, I mean, sometimes uh, I've had at different times I've had different things. I had a, a diesel at one time and that was a great way to do the, uh, the painting out here because people really like to see you doing this. Yeah. So sometimes when I'm painting right out here, I'll get this audience. <laughs> it's right. kind of cool. Uh, and different paintings have different values. This one's a little bit more detailed. Other ones are simpler to purchase. Like that's more of a pop art kind of piece. So this, well, this one might be 500. That one might be just, you know, 75 or 100. And a lot of times I'll take 20, 25, whatever they have, because I, I'm, uh, I'm just, this is my only living right now. So I'm willing to, but if I were at a gallery, it would be more like, that would be like a, like a thousand, and I would get 500. Or actually, that one might be a lot more than that, but I'm not sure, you know. It the says, first time I ever sold them, I always uh, just had them at the museums. And my mother kind of, kind of handled that a little bit when she was alive and she passed away. And I haven't really done much with anything. Was your mother an artist? 
Pardon? Was your mother an artist? Well, yes. My mother was an incredible woman. She was a singer. Uh, she was Welsh, part Welsh, and uh, native California. And um, she did amazing things. She always helped people. She was really a social activist on many levels and knew a lot of people. So, um, uh, she, uh, she got me in the museums and she kind of crafted a little bit of my career. It was uh, easy, easier because my family was already involved with it. And my dad worked with Disney. You know, everything came out of California in those days. Did, did <laughs> you say your dad worked stuff. at Disney? Uh, yeah, I worked with Disney. He has a, there's a bust of my father next to Disney, Axe, which is last, our last name is Axe, H-K-S-E. It's Chinese, uh, so it's pronounced Axe, the age. Was he an artist at Disney? He was an okay. animator, inventor, creator, yeah, all that. So, uh, yeah, it was a semi-child childhood. I mean, it used to be so pretty here. It's so cool. There artists all along here, puppet show musicians. Um, all day long, people bring food through. <laughs> it was it's changed, just huh? Just really, yeah. It should change. It's quite different now. And uh, and I don't really like it. I don't know what they're trying to prove. And as far as I've heard people say this is an abandoned reservation, that's ridiculous, you know? And, and trying to say, oh, they're not doing that anymore. Well, you know, until you turn around the Constitution and want to say you're a totalitarian you know, uh, dictator or something like that, that's not what's going on, you know? It's just a bunch of people talking. And this is where they're going to realize, you know, um, our military is busy taking care of... There are still bombs going around and stuff like that in this world, and, and it, as crazy as it is, they don't tell the people, and that's what I think is a mistake because people are in the dark. They can feel something's up and they can feel that they're not being told something, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and so, but I don't know though, because then sometimes you give them a little information and they don't have a background, you know, they're a little naive maybe and they, and they react instead of, you know, being rational and sensible, which when you hear, you know, news of panic or danger, the first thing you do is relax and you take it in and you figure it out. Uh, and that, that's what we need. You know, that's why the, the leaders, the generals, the lieutenants, they're trained for that response to alarming panic information. Immediately, the first thing they're gonna do is start to find and formulate a rational plan. And uh, so I guess that's the argument for not telling the people. But I, I don't know if it works, though, because people know something's up. <laughs> they know they're not being told what it is. So on that level, that's a tough one. It's a tough little thing to figure out. Maybe people aren't educated enough to start the beginning so that you can give them that information. But it's, uh, it's been a world where people have been determined to like end the world and stuff. So we're in a crazy time to be alive. You know, that Chinese expression, may you live in interesting times. Well, these are way more than interesting. We got interesting, we got dynamic, we got psychotic. You know, people are using all levels of new information and new intelligence to manipulate and malign. We need to get people back to the sense that love is good and love is the greatest power in the world. And for humans, uh, we have to remember how to live as humans on Earth. You know, we are all one. We're all connected to gravity and stardust, and and you know, it's. Uh, Connected on many levels, we're all interconnected with the universe, and we're under uh, something. I mean, maybe when we were his big project. I don't know. <laughs> I don't question it. I enjoy life, and I'm glad to be alive and get to wake up. And the days aren't long enough. You notice that, though. That's another thing that keeps us sort of in only as much as we'll ever be able to handle. You know, the days end, and we got to sleep, and that's that's like a there's a control mechanism, <laughs> you know, in a way, for us to, you can't just keep going. And then we die. A moment when you have, yeah, you have to do it in pacing. It's paced. You know, it's not just all, and then, and then it's, we're done, you know, so enjoy it. I mean, that's a signal or a sign for us to, that it is correct to take your time sometimes, to, to let things happen and mold together as they're going to. 
and um, you know, share the you know the woman who's living outdoors, she's been a singer in Hollywood for uh, her whole life, and raised kids and all that. She was a lounge singer, which is a real control job. I mean, you've got a room full of people who come to relax and enjoy, and you're the you know you're the MC and the singer. You know, it's an interesting. She's an interesting woman, and she. Doesn't want to do anything else except tell me sort of a beat song, you know. Is she at the shelter? And no, she's outdoors. Uh, she's got kids and stuff that connect with her and give her whatever and hook her up. But um, it's, it's it's what I was doing too. I was feeling a little bit freer when I'm in a building. I have a bad enemy, you know, electronic expert. When I'm in that building, boy, he they can get me back to slam me down. That's using a lot of different. I have implants. So it's a, uh, and, and then there's a lot of money involved behind the whole thing and all that. So be it, you know, I mean, that's my situation. It was a risk that I got involved with um, because I wanted to, because I'm proud to, and because I'm proud to be the person in command of a large amount of money that is not being in the wrong hands on this planet, and it's safe, you know what I mean? And uh, so we're not going to some mad dictator, you know, the wealthiest person will ever uh, you know, underneath or something like that. We got a good, we got a good planet right now. Which are some of your favorite paintings here? Um, my favorites. Okay, I love this tree. Tree. There are three trees, and I did that over something that someone had thrown away. Oh. And uh, but it's kind of. Oh, you look at it. No, Molly, Molly, Molly. I saw it in another in, a, in an art magazine too. You see faces. And you'll see, um, I like the colors. At a different time, depending on what day or what you might be in, you'll see different faces and different things in the painting. It's a little crazy, like this one. This is it's either me or it's him or her. Yeah, <laughs> different faces funny. in there, yeah. And it just comes out uh, sort of like Picasso, sort of very, very quickly, as if you're drawing from an element in the in the in the wings of the hair. <laughs> I like the smaller ones a lot, and I sometimes don't know how to sign it because you might turn it this way and enjoy it even more. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yeah. And so, um, <laughs> and this face keeps coming up oh, yeah. in the painting. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a child in distress somewhere, or you know, a soul that God is. is, is connecting with and coming through my paintings. Uh, it's just very interesting. I, I'm not sure, you know, so I, I also enjoy that that part of displaying them. And sometimes people stop and they'll look and they're like, no, no, I don't want to buy anything. And they're just looking at them. And that's what poetry is. You know, that's art. That's what it's, that's what it's supposed to be. I think. And that's why I love art. Because you can't, you can't go right. Tell little kids. I tell them when they come back, sometimes the kids are bad because they're looking, you know. I gave a, a really good painting to a kid, but he wanted it, you know, he was into it. And I was like, okay, you know. And I had hoped I'd worked on it a bit and I kind of helped to get some more for it. But at the moment, I just went with the moment. And um, um, when I was little, I had that. I had the benefit of that. People gave time to me, you know, and taught me how to paint. And they were, <laughs> if you got them before four or five o'clock, then they would sort of get uneasy. They, were, they, were, <laughs> they had to sleep for a while <laughs> and, and get undrunk. Like, but we, I mean, we did have a lot of that. And some of them were drinkers, and they were from other places uh, in the world and stuff. And they ended up here in Venice Beach. But they were still super intelligent, you know, worldly. They had lived their lives, you know. And uh, this was a place where they could retire. Because as an artist, Unless you've got like a, a regular patron or a gallery that you're in and you've been in, it's tough to make a living out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, certain people get a niche and they, they're selling paintings all the time. But most artists, you know, it's just uh, it's a struggle to keep it going as a living. So, um, and, but I'm proud to be able to be doing this, presenting them in public because. Uh, I never did. I always just had, you know, I had stuff at the museum, and that was it. Um, and, you know, who would see them? They weren't active. Yeah, this was a piece of Madonna's poster. 
<laughs> you said I want to buy it. That then get it from wherever, salvage, reuse, recycle, and you can make it out here because there's no price. It doesn't cost anything to set your stuff up. So you can come by and set up in a in a little slot and have a retail a retail <laughs> presentation for, for no cost. No and permits. It's unlikely that you'll leave here without a, without anything. You'll make something, some kind of tip. Someone will help you. You'll meet somebody. You'll talk to somebody. And uh, and, and we're open to people who are maybe off the cuff. You know, that's a, the Venice philosophy is that you can come here and, and you won't be judged or, or rejected. That's the beauty of having a place that's a creative space. You know, it's based on creativity and freedom and people being one, one another without judgment and without you know, all the negative stuff. <laughs> you know? It's a place where you can be, like I was like two, I think I was seven years old. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know? man. I feel like I was seven when my teeth were falling out, my front teeth were out. And I think it's, and the, but the guy's a terrorist wiggling tooth like a magnet. It's so weird. I, I'm not sure what it is, you know. Um, I think maybe, maybe it's a culmination of of people raised with hatred and, and, and living their lives with with, uh, with with rejection and with wanting to, I uh, feel she didn't get back at that, but uh, maybe it's the time for that to, to come out because we have the new video, we have the, the, the ability for that stuff to be uh, known that it's happening, you know? Whereas before, you really couldn't, things would be going on and uh, you wouldn't have any idea, you know. And, and now that whole communication thing, everything's duo. So if someone's using something to spy on you, you can turn it around and spy right back on them back. So the whole spy world is over with. It'll never be that way again. Where people are really sneaky, and you don't know. That's what got. That's what got us this time in America. They snuck in, and they're it's been so sneaky. Our own military hasn't known. Who's really doing it? <laughs> Who's behind this? Blah blah blah. So that's what they're doing now. They're watching <laughs> to see who the bad guys are, and then they'll just, you know, they're saying they're just gonna take them out. And I don't think that's a good policy. <laughs> they're planning and just go kill people. I think they're here. They're obviously somewhat assimilated into this country. Tell them. Listen, your own country is telling us about you and telling us that we have to kill you. And you're here already, you know, just drop any kind of working for making the country communist and get away from that and because your loyalty to that is what they have left you abandoned. <laughs> they're not coming to do any takeover or nothing. They're looking forward to the new economy, the new world whole of burgeoning, of, of, of a greater sense of uh, stability for everyone, you know, everyone. Why, how as humans we have anybody starving? You know, what is that? It's that something that like, we have to interact. Yeah. 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 Well, thanks for showing me your work, Saren. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you filming that. It gives me such a sense of positivity. So I still have all these hurdles to get through. But what is true about humans is that we are interconnected. We are willing to, uh, no one really wants to see anybody down. You know, and this is a way that keeps me up. You know, I can stay in the loop. Yes. You know, I never said I had to get a second chance. You know, I'm still belong. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Because uh, it, was, it was too much before, you know, I was it. And, and we're seeing that. It is. They're, they're really ruthless. The ruthless stuff has been going on, and um, people are in shock about it happening. Uh, and so in some town, or whatever is dealing with somebody who is brutally violated and trying to figure it out. And and it's hard to comprehend, it comes as a shock. And that's what it is, it's what it was meant to be. But our own government people and the military that they, they still don't tell overboard hot to the people that that's what's going on. There is a weird revenge set up against us. And be careful because people might just, you know, do something so astoundingly outrageous that you can shock more than you can realize that you've been injured or something, you know? And it's not funny. 
but that's what we got. But we blew up. We helped them. And we blew up villages that were small villages that didn't even know there was a war going on. Uh, so that, that's why they're doing this revenge thing. His family, his family, her family, you know what I mean? That's what we've been dealing with a lot. It also is that people letting go of... Hey, we